Looks like Mrs. MP's in here. Making cookies. And look at there. She's representing Tree Hugger Honey. Got her Tree Hugger Honey shirt on. And baking cookies. She got a whole bunch of cookie dough right there. This is her traditional thing. Every year at Christmas time, she bakes a crap ton of cookies and takes them to our local super Walmart for all the employees. She spoiled our son yesterday, made him a whole bunch of cupcakes. Spoiling is what I do. <laughs> yep, that's what she does. She got a bunch of cookies to make because it takes a lot of cookies to feed that entire Walmart staff. Dozens and dozens. Lots more cookies. Peanut butter, Hershey Kiss cookies, yum yum. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Well, as you just seen, Mrs. MP's busy making a whole bunch of cookies for the Walmart staff. I figured I'd come out here in the shop, show you what I just got in for the bees for this coming spring. I'm gonna make it a whole lot easier to feed them when there's no nectar flow on. So what we got here is the tops that go on the feeders. There's 15 of those. Um, I got these from Carolina Bee Farm down in, uh, I believe it's South Carolina. So we got 15 of those. And then these are the feeders themselves. And we also got, these are the ladders. Okay, so what we got is the in high feeder this holds a gallon and a half of sugar water and the walls are nice and ribbed in here if you can see that there's nice ribbing so you can use this just the way it is just like this and the bees will climb down in there drink the sugar water but there's more a chance of them drowning doing so okay so you get this sitting down in there and then you have these ladders that when they're sitting down on here, as you can see, they go almost all the way to the bottom. So these sit in there and push right down in. And now you have a ladder system in there so your bees can walk down in there. They can drink the sugar water, have something to hold on to, and less chance of drowning, basically. These are going to be a huge help with my apiaries being in so many different places this coming season because um, <clears throat> during the spring before the nectar flow when the bees are getting active they'll go through a six pound bottle of sugar water in a day so that would mean I would be traveling to all my different apiary sites multiple times you know during the course of a week to keep them fed so they don't starve with these I can load them up, gives me a couple of days, you know, two or three days that I can go out and uh, do other things and not have to visit all the sites to feed the bees. <clears throat> Once the, the nectar flow gets going, you take these out. Okay, so as you can see, we got this multicolored hive right here. Uh, this is actually a double nuke. When you take the lid off, there's actually two separate chambers in here. Yeah, this is actually two different boxes. There's an, an entrance on this side, as you can see right there. And there is an entrance on the other side as well. Um, that way you can have two colonies set up in here. But what you would do is set this down in there. And then you would add your frames in here. 
So I went ahead and threw some frames in here just so you can see what happens. Uh, these are four frame nuke boxes. So what we would do is pull two of these frames out and then drop in the feeder. The bees would be drawing these frames out and feeding while they were drawing them out. You just keep swapping those frames out. This could be used as a frame builder or as a um, bee builder. You know, some people call these bee bombs because they will fill out this frame really, really fast uh, because they see it as being in the center of the box because they recognize the bees in this side. So they just, they build these out really fast. So there you have it guys. That's what we got um, in the mail just a few days ago. Still gearing up. Now we got feeders for all of these boxes and a couple of more. The great thing about these in-high feeders is it cuts down on robbing. Basically what happens is other bees, wild bees or whatever, yellow jackets, all of these things, notice the sugar water and they come in to the hive entrance and try to feed on those entrance feeders. So this ends up having a lot of competition. It, you know, incites robbing on your beehives from colonies in your own yard and other people's bee colonies as well. So not only are you feeding your bees, you're feeding someone else's bees and wild bees. This way, the feeders are in the hives. They're protected with the top on and everything. So you don't have that problem. So your bees have the sugar water right there to eat. They don't have to, uh, you know, go out and find search for stuff that's not out there yet these are only used during the dearths and early spring when there's nothing for the bees to eat and they will literally starve so you feed them in the late fall once the nectar flow is all done if you check your hives and they don't have enough food to get them through the winter then you feed them heavy so they can store that in the hive they you know store all that up and they eat it throughout the winter and then by spring, their, their, their hives are just about empty. So that's why you see me putting sugar blocks on the other day or sugar cakes. This way they've got something to get them through the winter and still eat um, until we get into spring and the nectar starts flowing. Once the nectar flow starts, you stop feeding because you want pure natural raw honey going into your hive. And that's what here at Tree Hugger Honey, we want to be bringing you pure natural raw honey that's top-notch you know premium stuff um, we don't want it diluted with other things one thing you will never find is us diluting our honey with corn syrup and stuff like that number one it's dangerous because someone thinks they're buying natural honey and they have a corn allergy and you've diluted your honey with corn syrup they buy that honey have a severe allergic reaction end up in the hospital or worse there's a lot of companies out there that are diluting their honeys with corn syrup unfortunately tree hugger honey will not be one of them we're going to stay true to ourselves and true to our customers and bring you pure natural raw honey that's why you may see we run out and we don't have honey year round because when it's all gone it's all gone we're not going to dilute it to stretch it to make it go further what we have is what we have and we want to make sure you, the consumer, have the best product that we can possibly produce. And from me and mine to you and yours, we would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Will you survive whatever comes your way if you continue to get pure natural raw honey from Tree Hugger Honey? You just might. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.